welcome back to the 10th and final section of the design system course in Figma. My name is Meng and today we're going to learn all about prototyping. So Figma makes it super simple to create prototypes using transitions and even some basic interactions such as hover and other mouse events. To start prototyping, you need to go to the prototyping tab. And as soon as you're there, you can set the starting frame. So here I have home, but I can also set it to downloads or article. And you see this little icon here. This is what shows that this is the starting frame. So I'm gonna go back to home. We're going to create a prototype that is basically just an overview of the whole experience of the app. So for example, I'm going to start connecting each page. First, let's zoom out a little bit. So I'm gonna go to courses, double click on it, and there's this little circle on the right where I can drag and connect to another page. Let's make sure that this one is connected to the article page. And then I'm going to connect to more pages. If you have trouble selecting here, you can always go to the layers. So for the downloads, we're going to connect to downloads. Then for the try button, we're going to connect to congrats like this. Now let's preview the prototype. You click on the present button here and then I can start clicking but what I'm noticing is that on the second page I can't go back to the main screen so what I need to do is to go back and copy and paste the same header which contains the connection so let me zoom in a little bit so I have this header that has the connections but this one does not so I'm gonna copy the entire header delete this one select the frame and paste now you can see that the header kept all the connections intact and the destinations are appropriate in this case I just need to add the connection back to the home screen and from here I can just copy and paste the same way So copy to the other pages And voila going back to my prototype I can now navigate each page and not have a broken experience now of course you should be turning this into a component now the reason why you would do that is so that if you want to change the destination for one of the items having a component is going to update automatically for all of the copies so for example I'm going to replace all the headers using a component instead. Now I can see that the connection for my downloads is no longer there. So as long as you edit the master component, so like this, it's going to apply to the rest. The other thing that you can do is you can link to an isolated frame. So for example, in this case, I'm going to have this outside. First of all, I need to turn this into a frame. So Option, Command, and G. And I can have this outside like this. Let's customize this into a sign-up page. So I'll go back to the master component and I'm going to change the sign of experience. So the try button in the prototype should be linked to this frame instead. And then here I'm going to link back to the congrats. So as you can see every connection has been updated. And if I go to the preview, going back to the course and try for free, it goes to the screen, 
click here and it goes to congrats. So the reason why this could be useful is for example if you have a very complex experience and you have many models then you can basically just link to the models separately instead of creating a page for each of the model. Of course for each of these connection if you go back to the component the master component you can decide to have a transition animation and you can see from this animation here the example in how it's going to be animated the duration the direction this is especially useful for iOS and Android for example you can even customize the ease in and ease out so you can see the animation is faster or slower at the beginning and the end as previously shown you can turn any frame to be scrollable vertically horizontally or both another thing that I can do is for example I can make a header stick so I'm gonna create a background just for the sake of this example put it put it inside the header but underneath everything like this and it applies to all the other pages I'm just gonna make this black and this option is only available inside the design tab I click on header and I click on fixed position when scrolling. So now, not only is my page scrollable, but the top portion is sticky. That's kind of nice. I'm just gonna go back and remove the fixed positioning, as well as the background. Another thing that I can do is to create really awesome interactions. So states, I'm gonna zoom out duplicate this frame like this let's say I want this state here for the watch button I'm going to change the style let's say to white 100% and the text to black and what I want is to be able to show the interaction I'm going to select this specific button here Go to prototype and then I'm going to select the connection like so. Here I'm gonna go to interaction and I'm gonna select while hovering like this. What it's going to do is that when I hover this you can see there's a hover state so that's really nice. Now you can always change that interaction it doesn't have to be on hover it can be while pressing mouse enter mouse leave, mouse down, mouse up. So just like any design, you can also share your prototype. If you go to your prototype, you can share it. And anyone with that link can view this prototype just like the design itself. So they're going to be able to experience the prototype from a browser just like this. On top of that, you can also share the prototype as a live embed, so you can put that on your website. Click here, get the code, create a new HTML document, paste the code, and save it. So prototype.html, save it. And then you can view the prototype from here. So obviously you can arrange the resolution of the prototype and go into the code and you can change it to the resolution of your frame. So let's say 1440 by 900, save it, refresh it, and then voila. Another useful thing for prototype is to be able to comment directly on the prototype. So your clients and colleagues can come here and comment on this prototype as you show them. Last but not least, you can also download the iOS app or Android app to be able to preview the design on the devices. Back to the design, I just want to fix one last thing. So this home button here cannot be connected to its own frame. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this header here 
outside of the frame and create a connection to this frame. And from here, I can just create a copy like this. Let's center it and set it to 50 from the top like the other ones. So let's view our final prototype. So we click here and then when you go back, we have a mouse over, we have scrolling, we have some animation, we have the congrats page and we can go back. So this concludes our design system course. I hope you have learned a ton and then you can apply that knowledge to create your own design system or even create your own layout and your own prototype. I would love to see what you create with these lessons. So use your own backgrounds, your own content and experiment. Send me a tweet and show me your designs, show me what you have created so far. I would love to share them. Thank you so much for following along. It will mean the world to me if you can share this free course to your friends and coworkers. We have spent hundreds of hours creating the design system, creating the layout, the icons and the prototype just so that we can teach you all of these techniques. And we would love to have more people learning about all of this. So thank you so much.